Hi, my name is Gavin Henrik from Learning Technology Services and last week I was giving a presentation at the Ireland and UK Moodle Moot in Dublin and unfortunately it wasn't recorded so I'm just doing a quick recording now. So my presentation was about breaking down the barriers through learning tool interoperability. So what is this about? Well, it's about IMS LTI. Now what is IMS LTI? Well, for those who haven't heard about it before, it's an IMS standard for learning tool interoperability. And this means that learning tools now have a set way in which they can seamlessly connect and talk to each other. So in practice, what does this mean? While a user is logged into one tool, like Moodle, they can then connect over to the other tool, a wiki or a blog or something else, and be automatically authenticated, providing a seamless experience for the user. So this presentation is a sequence of demos of how that connectivity can work. So just before I start the demo, I'd like to explain one of the principles of LTI. So first you have an LTI consumer. Now this is an application which connects to another application to take advantage of the different features that it has. An LTI provider is an application which provides those features that other people and other systems would want to connect to. So in this demo, I'll be demonstrating Moodle as a consumer connecting outbound to other applications. And also the last two examples will actually be connecting to another Moodle site, which in that case is also a provider. Confused? Well, you won't be soon. The first example I'm going to show is ChemVantage. Now ChemVantage is a free resource website for science education and it includes grade exercises, homework exercises, practice exams and some video lectures. Well, within Moodle it shows up just as a link on the course page. And what happens when we click it? Well, we've clicked it and we have now loaded into ChemVantage. And as you can see, the Moodle site is still around it and the ChemVantage page is embedded within the Moodle site. But I am logged in. You can see here my email address is showing up. And I have access to all of the different facilities here, be it one of the quizzes or the lecture or even to take a practice exam. So in this way, he is able to create a really good resource for general chemistry and others can connect to it in a seamless way to provide their students access to that resource from their LMS and in this case Moodle. The next example I'm going to show is connecting to a WordPress multi-user site. Now for those who don't know, WordPress is a standalone blog and it's open source so you can just download it and install it on your web server. One of the features is that you can have a multi-user blog where every user have their own blog within the overall installation. So this is quite a cool feature and very useful for schools and other institutions. So in this example, I'm going to connect to a multi-user site and have my account automatically created. So let's again click the link, WordPress MU, and again the page is embedded within Moodle. And you can see here that I have a WordPress site and down here I actually have my site admin. So I'm actually logged in. So let's go into site admin to demonstrate it. And here you can see the dashboard of WordPress sitting within my Moodle site. And I can do a limited amount of things within that admin interface. So again, I'm able to have that seamless connection that without a login, it's a single sign on from Moodle over to the WordPress site. Now, why is this useful? Well, if you wanted to be using WordPress rather than a built-in Moodle blogging system, you'd be able to take advantage of this feature and not have students log in twice. So that's WordPress. The next example I'm going to show is MediaWiki. So for those who don't know, MediaWiki is an open source wiki packet. And it was originally built for use on Wikipedia. However, it's now used by many different projects. So let's have a look at how it works within the IMS LTI framework. Here we have again a link. So I'll click on this link and it's loading the media wiki within the Moodle page again. And you can see here that my login on this site was info at Moodle Moot. And um, here we have my connection all working. 
I have a category, the same as my short code here. But I can go in and I can start editing, I can create pages. There it is. So I'm just going to do a test and I'm going to save that page. So there you can see my text has worked. So I have access to the wiki. It's within the category designated for my course short name, in this case, IMS LTI. If you want to have a collaborative wiki outside of Moodle, where you and maybe other institutions would work together, you could set up MediaWiki in this LTI configuration and then have your Moodle site and other Moodle sites connect to it to collaborate and create content. So the next one I'm going to look at is connecting to WebPA. Now, WebPA is an open source online peer assessment tool that enables every team member to recognize individual contributions to the group work. So if you want to use WebPA, you'll be able to again use it within this IMS LTI framework. So I click on WebPA, and again, I've set it up that it embeds within the site. So here we are, already logged in, user Gavin Henrik, I'm in home. And as a teacher, I'm then able to set up forms and groups and assessments for my students to be able to log in to WebPA. But they don't have the hassle of logging in twice, it's just all done for them. So again, you can see the obvious advantages here of having these specialist external systems. Rather than having to build their own custom integrations with Moodle, they can just implement IMS LTI and Moodle can then connect to them and they can take advantage of those features which are not within Moodle itself. So the next example I'm going to show you is something called NoteFlight. This is an online music website which enables you to write and create and print and even hear music notation right in the web browser. So it makes it very easy to work on scores and share with others and embed into your own pages. In this case now I've configured the external tool to open a new window. Okay, so here we have a new window opened up for NoteFlight. So what I want to do here is create a new score. So I want to click on score. And now it's loading in the various styles. So I want to just choose here that it's going to be piano score. So it's now downloading and loading everything. Let's choose uh, some notes. There you go, that's one. Okay, well, that's enough for it. So I'm just going to play that now. And that's obviously really good. But you can see immediately again. Here is a tool, it's a very specialist tool, which this kind of feature just wouldn't be built within a learning management system. But using the external tool and the whole LTI framework, you're able to seamlessly connect your students out to these systems. So before I show you the Moodle, Moodle connectivity, I'm just going to show you one more connection. So other learning management systems also have LTI enabled. And in this case, I'm going to go and show you a Sakai wiki. So, again, I just click on the external tool link and it loads up embedded within the Moodle page. And here I am now on the Sakai wiki page. So I can click on edit and it brings up the edit options. Or I can click on info and see all the various bits and pieces and the permissions and so on. Or go back to view. And here is the basic wiki information. Okay, so our last demonstration is going to be Moodle working with Moodle, both as a consumer and a provider. So here I have a link linked to a glossary hosted on another Moodle site. Okay, so here we have a Moodle glossary, which is set up on one of my test sites. And as you can see, there's already some content into it. But again, I'm logged directly in already. Um, I'm within the glossary activity. So even though I was originally on one Moodle site, I've seamlessly connected to another Moodle site and now would be able to, if I wanted to, add a new entry into this glossary and help collaborate on that project over there. So it's a very interesting concept where you can literally share an activity or even a full course between learning management systems, making it much easier to collaborate. 